Newton. Hello everyone, very good morning and welcome to this live session regarding the monthly current affairs for the month of February 2019. So how is your preparation going on for the various examinations? We have LIC AO, SSC CGL, SSC CHSL and RRB examinations, right? So current affairs plays an important role in all of these exams, okay? So shall we move on to the February month current affairs? Yes? Yes, we'll move on to the first question of the day. Hope you can see my screen. Yes, be fast in answering the questions. Here is the first question from the month of February 2019. The first question says, when is World Wetlands Day observed worldwide? Is it 1st February, 31st January, 30th January, 3rd February or 2nd February? January session was already done. Saurabh Singh, you can find it on the Talent Sprint YouTube platform. When is World Wetlands Day observed worldwide? Yes. Is it observed on 1st Feb, 31st Jan, 30th Jan, 3rd Feb or 2nd Feb? What is the right answer? World Wetlands Day is observed on 2nd February, World's Wetlands Day is observed by the Ramsar Convention which protects the wetlands which was signed in the year 1971. India has presently 27 Ramsar sites. Recently one was added which is that Sundarbans Reserve Forest in West Bengal. So 26 plus 1. Okay. Next, moving on to the next question. What was the theme of World Wetlands Day observed on 2nd Feb 2019? What was the theme of World's Wetlands Day which is observed on 2nd Feb? So what could be the right answer? Yes. Be fast in answering the questions. Yes, the right answer is for the World's Wetlands Day 2019, the theme is wetlands and climate change. We have to protect our wetlands. Next, where was the 12th edition of Aero India 2019 held? 12th edition of Aero India 2019. Yes, where was it held? It was held in Bengaluru. Bengaluru is the right answer. Next, what was the theme of 12th edition of Aero India 2019 which was held in Bengaluru? Yes, what is the right answer? The runway to a billion opportunities is the theme of Aero India 2019 which was held in Bengaluru. Which of the following teams has won the Pro Wrestling League PWL? Season 4 title. Pro Wrestling League two, Season 4 title. Yes, it was won by Haryana Hammers is the right answer. Next. Which Indian state has stopped in budgetary practices as per latest survey by Transparency International? best budgetary practices in preparation of budget execution okay so which is that state it's the state of Assam where is the headquarters of Transparency International it is headquartered in Berlin of Germany and it comes up with various indices like uh, corruption perception index very famous index of Transparency International. Okay, moving on to the next question. Which Indian cricketer became the first female player to play 200 ODIs during the third final against New Zealand on 1st Feb?
first female player to play 200 ODIs. Yes, it is our the Indian uh, women's team captain for ODIs. It is Mitali Raj from Hyderabad. She's from Hyderabad. Next, what is the theme of Asia LPG 2019 Summit? Asia LPG 2019 Summit. is LPG energy for life okay which warship of the Indian Navy has participated in the multinational maritime exercise called Cutlass Express 2019 yes it was INS Trikand has participated this Cutlass Express 2019 which of the following has launched Startup India Grand Challenge? Startup India Grand Challenge. Yes, it was launched by the WhatsApp. Which are the bank or bank which were removed under prompt corrective action framework of RBI in February? prompt corrective action right it is used by RBI during NPA crisis for the banks so which are those banks Oriental Bank of Commerce Bank of India and Bank of Maharashtra ABC is the right answer Central Statistics Office revised the GDP growth forecast to what person from earlier estimate of 6.7% on 31st Jan? It has revised to 7.2%. Okay. Next. That is for Q3. Kala Goda Arts Festival is celebrated in is it Shimla, Jaipur, Bhubaneswar, Kochi or Mumbai? Kala Goda Art Festival. It is generally observed in Mumbai is the right answer. Next. Name the Indian golfer who has become the first Indian to grab Australian Ladies PGA 2 that is LPGA after second securing 12th rank tied with three others in the qualifying tournament held in Australia. Yes, who is she? She is Vani Kapoor. She is the first Indian to grab this LPGA. Australia, Australia's LPGA. Name the Indian paddler who has achieved a new career rank of 28 in the world rankings on 30th Jan 2019. Who is it? It is G. Satyan. G. Satyan is the right answer. He has secured the rank of 28. And who has become the first female paddler from India to be listed in the top 50 with the rank of 47 among females? Yes, it is our table tennis champion from females, Manika Batra. Okay. Next international conference on 8th century sage Guru Padma Sambhava was held in. Was held in New Delhi is the right answer. Okay. Next. Where was New India Youth Conclave held? New India Youth Conclave again it was held in Surat of Gujarat okay India wants to achieve the present government wants to achieve New India by 2022 the Union government has renamed Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion DIPP as dash very important question DIPP which comes under the Ministry of 
commerce and industry who is the minister suresh prabhu is the minister so it was renamed to which of the following names yes it is department of for promotion of industry and internal trade d p i i t this is a present name given to the earlier dipp department for promotion of industry and internal trade third option the first ever global report on future of the rail has been prepared by which of the following international organization future of the rail future of the rail was prepared by international energy agency which is headquartered at paris of france okay it comes up with the world energy outlook like world economic outlook by imf it comes up with world energy outlook Lieutenant General Rajiv Chopra has taken over as the Director General of Dash. Yes, he has taken over as the Director General of National Cadet Corps. Next, Dash is set to host the 2021 Championships Trophy and 2023 World Cup T20. so which is that nation yes it is obviously india india will be hosting 2001 21 championship trophy and 2023 world cup t20 which international organization has officially launched the international year of periodical table of chemical elements international year of periodic table of chemical elements So 2019 is designated as International Year of Periodic Table of Chemical Elements by UNESCO. UNESCO is the right answer. Okay, it is headquartered at Paris of France. Hope we have given the uh, e-book for how to remember the headquarters. Okay. Which brigade has received the best marching contingent trophy of the Republic Day on 26 Jan 2019? Best marching contingent trophy it was given to Gorkha Brigade. Okay. Name the acting chairperson of the National Statistics Commission who quit from his position on 30th Jan 2019. he has resigned from his post who is it it is pc mohanam next life insurance firm called india first has bought dash person stake in csc e governance services india limited on 28 jan so it has bought 9% stake in common service center e governance services okay which provide various services like payments bill payments recharges etc which company has acquired the noida based last minute hotel booking app night stay on 31st jan yes it was bought by paytm okay is it quoted at noida which of the following will be the official mascot for 39th national games 2022 39th national games which are which are to be held in meghalaya this may be also a question 39th national games 2022 and the official mascot for 39th national games 2022 which are to be held in meghalaya is clouded leopard next Which of the following cricket teams has clinched the 2019 Ranji Trophy in cricket? 
So which is the team? It is Vidarbha for the second time in a row. Vidarbha has got the Ranji Trophy. Okay. The 42nd Kanduri Festival 2019 has been celebrated in which of the following states? It is observed by the Muslim community in Tamil Nadu is the right answer. Where did Dharmendra Pradhan, Union Minister for Petroleum and Natural Gas, inaugurated the Asia LPG Summit 2019 on 5th Feb? I think we have already seen the theme also, right? LPG Energy for Life. That, is a, that was a theme for Asia LPG Summit. Where was it held? It was held in New Delhi, Asia LPG Summit. The theme is LPG Energy for Life. The Robert Bosch Center for Data Science and Artificial Intelligence was established at which of the following IITs? So where was it established? It was established at IIT Madras. Next. Recently, World Pulses Day is observed for the first time in 2019 at the United Nations on which of the following dates? World Pulses Day. Pulses are very important for proteins, right? So, World Pulses Day, this may be a very important question. So, it is observed on February 10th. First time in 2019 it was observed on February 10th. Who has been elected as a new chairman of African Union? African Union is a grouping of 55 nations. It is headquartered at Addis Ababa, which is the capital of Ethiopia. Okay. Grouping of African countries. So, Abdel Fattah El Sisi was appointed or elected as a new chairman of African Union. He is the chief of Egypt. Okay. Which of the following state was awarded the best terry silk producing state by the Union Ex Minister of External Affairs, Sushma Swaraj, at the mega silk event called Surging Silk in New Delhi? So which is that state? It is Nagaland. Name the person who topped the Hurun India Philanthropy List 2018. Philanthropy means charity. Charity works. Those who contribute to the society. So who is that? Mukesh Ambani has topped the Hurun India Philanthropy List 2018. Who has been conferred with Tirukkaran Porwal Award in Muscat recently? For literature. So it was given to Tarun Vijay. This award. Name the Indian historian who has won the Israeli Israel's prestigious one million dollar Dan David Award. So they may ask you Dan David Award is given by Israel and what is the field it is given to? History. So it was taken by Sanjay Subramanyam, the Indian historian. International Day of Women and Girls in Science is observed on which date? International Day of Women and Girls in Science. It is observed on Feb 11th. Feb 10th is World Pulses Day, right? Remember this. You have to recall things. International Day of Women and Girls in Science is on 11th Feb. RBA has slapped dash penalty on the country's largest lender SBI for violating norms related to SWIFT, right? So how much penalty was levied by RBI? 
it is rupees 1 crore on SBI Union Minister Harsimrat Kaur Badal has inaugurated Kremika Food Park, the first mega food park of which state? Kremika Food Park in Una. Una is a place in Himachal Pradesh. Okay. Next. Dharmendra Pradhan has inaugurated 13th Petrotech 2019 conference in Dash. Regarding petroleum technologies. So it was inaugurated in Greater Noida of Uttar Pradesh. Just classify the events New Delhi, write down somewhere and at other places. Write down all the events so that you can recall once before the examination. The second Asian Youth India Youth Summit was held in which state? Asian stands for Association of Southeast Asian Nations. It is headquartered in Jakarta of Indonesia it is an association of 10 countries. India is not a member of ASEAN. So it was held in Assam. Second Asian India Youth Summit was held in Assam. Recently PM Modi has launched which of the following channel in Itanagar. So Itanagar is the capital of Arunachal Pradesh, right? So Doordarshan channel named DD Arun Prabha was launched for the state of Arunachal Pradesh. Next. Which of the following Indian language has been included as the third official language in the courts of Abu Dhabi? After Arabic and English third official language is Hindi okay very important question in UAE next US capital is Abu Dhabi name the city which was declared as a third administrative division of Jammu and Kashmir So it is none other than the Ladakh was declared as the third administrative division of Jammu and Kashmir. Surging Silk Mega event was held in which, which of the following cities? Just now we have seen best very silk producing state was given to Nagaland and this event Surging Silk event was held in our national capital New Delhi. What is the current repo rate as per RBI's sixth biometry policy for 2018-19? In the first week of February, RBI has come up with the sixth bimonthly monetary policy. Generally, bimonthly monetary policy is given by the monetary policy committee headed by whom? RBI governor. It is a six member committee. So, monetary policy is released for every two months by monthly monetary policy so what is the current repo rate as per this six by monthly monetary policy it is 6.25 percent next what is the current reverse repo rate it is six percent and what is the present cash reserve ratio? What is cash reserve ratio? Some percentage of total NDTL that is net demand and time liabilities is kept as cash with RBI by the banks. So presently it is the same 4%. Next, how much is the SLR? So repo is 6.25, reverse repo is 
6 yes. CLR is 4 and SLR is 19.25 percent some percentage of total NDTL must be kept as cash gold and government securities within the bank itself this is SLR okay RBI has announced on 7th Feb that the limit of collateral free agricultural loans has been increased from 1 lakh rupees to how much so earlier it was 1 lakh what do you mean by collateral free no surety or security only when we take a loan we keep surety right so it is increased to 1.6 lakh so up to 1.6 lakhs the farmers can take collateral free loans what is the RBI's growth rate prediction for India in 2018-19 now so how much it has predicted 7.4% for 2018-19 next which project has been launched by union government to study apparel consumption in India so India wants to have a own size for textiles like you uh, UK US so it is India size project who is the minister for textiles Smriti Irani okay Pradhan Mantri Jan Arga Yojana that is Ayushman Bharat has was launched as Dash app on Google Play Store to access scheme details. So what is the name of this app for this Ayushman Bharat? It is the full form or the short form of the full name Pradhan Mantri Jan Arga Yojana. Which city was the venue of Paramanu Tech 2019 Nuclear Energy Conference? Paramanu Tech 2019 Nuclear Energy Conference. It was held in New Delhi itself. India has become the world's dash largest LPG consumer and importer after government's Ujwala push. Ujwala is giving free LPG connections. Yes or no? To BPL families below poverty line families Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana so India has become the second largest LPG consumer after China first is China second is India which country has officially declared Siamese fighting fish as its national aquatic animal if you know what is Siam you can easily answer the earlier name of Thailand so Thailand is the right answer okay name the cricketer who stuck the fastest 50 for India in women's T20s fastest 50 for India in women's T20s Spriti Mandana is the right answer next name Indian space research organizers ISRO's 40th communication satellite launched from French Guyana by Arian Space Launch Vehicle. ISRO's 40th communication satellite. It is GSAT 31 is a 40th communication satellite of ISRO. ISRO's chairman is K. Shivan. Right. Next. Name the campaign launched by Swachh Bharat Mission Grameen which focuses on sustaining the open defecation free status of villages across India. And uh, the brand ambassador was Amita Bachchan for this campaign. This is that campaign. The path to of Darwaza Band. You have to use toilets so that we can make India open defecation free. Okay, it is under Swachh Bharat Grameen. Swachh Bharat Grameen was introduced by Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation. Okay. Ma Bharati is the minister. Which bank has launched its new term deposit called FD Extra, which extra will include 
term insurance savings for the down payment of home and car, retirement planning and others, SIP, systematic investment plan, credit card, all these facilities with fixed deposit. So which is that bank? It is ICICA Bank. Okay, ICICA has launched the one for men. Advantage Aura Savings Account for women. FD Extra. Okay, all these are launched by ICICA only. Which team has won the CK Naidu Trophy in Test Cricket 2019? Colonel CK Naidu, famous Test Cricketer from India. So they may ask you sometimes, CK Naidu Trophy is related to cricket. So which is the team, CK Naidu Trophy? Punjab has won the CK Naidu Trophy. Name SBI's UK Chief who was honoured with Freedom of the City of London by City of London Corporation on 6th Feb. SBI's UK Chief. So it is Sanjeev Chadda was given this honour. SBI's UK Chief. Air India Chief Dash has been appointed as Civil Aviation Secretary recently. is Pradeep Singh Karola was appointed as was the Air India Chief was appointed as Civil Aviation Secretary who is the Minister for Civil Aviation presently Suresh Prabhu which payments bank has announced the launch of a sweep account facility in association with Suryodai Small Finance Bank what do you mean by sweep sweep means generally we have a savings account right so savings account has minimum average monthly balance suppose 3000 10000 there is any less balance this balance in the fd may be moved to the savings account this is called sweep okay clear so it may be made through current account also so it was fino payments bank partnering with Suryodai Small Finance Bank. Okay. Which nation? Both of them are headquartered in Navi Mumbai. Which nation has become the 30th member of NATO? NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which is headquartered in Brussels of Belgium. At Brussels, we also have European Union, World Customs Organization, etc. So, which is that nation? Macedonia is the right answer. Recently, it is called as North. It has changed its name, North Macedonia. What is the theme of 30th National Road Safety Week, NRSW 2019? observed in February so it is none other than Sadak Suraksha Jeevan Raksha which high court has ruled against negative marking in competitive examinations it is against negative marking so it is Madras high court Which of the following has bought 14% stake in microfinancial Annapurna Finance on 3rd Feb? 14% stake in Annapurna Finance, that is microfinance. It is Asian Development Bank, which is headquartered in Mandalayong in Philippines. Pallava Grama Bank and which other RRB in Tamil Nadu will be amalgamated to form a single RRB named Tamil Nadu Grama Bank under the sponsorship of Indian Bank 
Capec from 1st April 2019. So it is Pandya Grama Bank plus Pallava Grama Bank. Both of them will be called as Tamil Nadu Grama Bank and sponsor bank is Indian Bank which is headquartered in Chennai. Next, which Indian squash player has won the Seattle Open title in USA? It is Ramit Chandan has won the Seattle Open title. Next, INF Treaty which is in news recently is in between which of the following countries? INF Treaty, Intermediate, Nuclear, Intermediate Range, Nuclear Forces Treaty. It is between USA and Russia. Both of them want to take back this or go back from this treaty. Dash has signed an MOU with Pulela Gopichand Badminton Foundation towards setting up world class indoor facility and other related centers at a cost of 35 crores. Yes, Kotak Mahindra Bank has signed MOU with Pulela Gopichand Badminton Federation. Who was elected as the president of El Salvador on 4th Feb? El Salvador capital is San Salvador and currency is US dollar. So it is Naib Bukili was elected as the president of El Salvador. Where was India Monaco Business Forum held on 4th Feb? India Monaco Business Forum, it was held in New Delhi. Monaco is a European country, its capital is Monaco city only. 325 children including 11 girls have been rescued in Dash under Operation Smile which was launched on 1st Jan. So Operation Smile is to rescue children from bonded labor or trafficking etc. was in Hyderabad. Which of the following states has become the first Indian state to set up a price monitoring and research unit for drugs? So it is by the state of Kerala is the right answer. The 30th National Road Safety Week has begun in New Delhi on 4th Feb with the launch of Motor Car Rally which touches India, Bangladesh and would conclude on 24th Feb in Dash. You have already seen Jeevan Suraksha, Road Sadak Suraksha, Jeevan Raksha, right? That was the theme of National Road Safety Week. So it will touch Myanmar. So India, Bangladesh and Myanmar. Abhiram Sham Sharma, who has decided to return his Padma Shri in protest against the Citizenship Amendment Bill of 2016, is from which northeastern state? So, he is from Manipur, is the right answer. Citizenship Amendment Bill, it wants to give uh, citizenship to six minorities from three countries Afghanistan Pakistan and Bangladesh which of the following states has recently declared Indus River Dolphin as the state's aquatic animal states aquatic animal yes it is by the state of Punjab 
who was appointed as a new director of CBI for a fixed tenure of two years. R.K. Shukla or Rishi Kumar Shukla from Madhya Pradesh Kada. He was appointed as the CBI new director. Which team has won the 17th edition of AFC Asian Cup football held in UAE? Yes, it is Qatar. Qatar is the right answer. AFC Asian Cup. Who has been appointed as a new Nepalese ambassador to India? Yes, it is. Nilambar Acharya was appointed as the new Nepalese ambassador to India. World Cancer Day is observed on. World Cancer Day is observed on. Very important question. World Cancer Day is observed on February 4th. What is the theme of 2019 World Cancer Day? Observed on 4th Feb. We Can I Can was 2018 theme. I Am and I Will is 2019 theme. Who has become the first Asian woman cricketer to play 100 T20s? 100 T20 internationals. It is Sana Mir of Pakistan. Where was 4th International Spice Conference 2019 held? It was held in Hyderabad. Where was ISRO's Human Space Flight Center inaugurated? ISRO's Human Space Center, it is under the program called Gaganyan. It wants to send three Gaganyatris by 2022. By 2022. Okay. In Bengaluru, it was launched the first human space flight center of ISRO. Andhra Pradesh was inaugurated by its Chief Justice of India recently. It, it becomes the Dash High Court of India. Justice Praveen Kumar was also appointed as Chief Justice of AP. So it becomes the 25th High Court in India, 25th High Court. So totally 25 High Courts are present in India. Who is a recipient of K. Veeramani Award for Social Justice 2018 by Periyar International? It was given to P.S. Krishnan. Beros Buchani, who won the Australia's richest literary prize, is from which country? He is from Iran. Who has been appointed as the chairman of Central Board of Direct Taxes? We have seen CBI, Rishi Kumar Chukla, CBDT. Direct taxes, all the income tax, corporation tax, securities transaction tax, all these come under direct taxes, which are directly collected from the source or the person. It is Pramosh Chandra Modi, PC Modi was appointed as Central Board of Direct Taxes Chairman. Pradhan Mantri Shram Yogi Mandan Pension Scheme for Unorganized Workers has come into effect from. So for unorganized workers, this is a pension scheme under the Ministry of Labor and Employment. 3000 per month will be given and the age group for joining is 18 to 40 years. 
and the pension will be given from 60 years onwards okay he has to contribute 55 per month if he is at 18 years and government will make an equal contribution to it so it will be effect from 15 February 2019 okay next India's first district cooling system to come up in district cooling system be coming up in Amaravati of Andhra Pradesh a centralized cooling system for the total district where was World Sustainable Development Summit 2019 held was held in Delhi okay organized by Terry the Energy Researches Institute where was fifth International Dam Safety Conference 2019 held was held in Bhubaneswar. I have told you categorize the uh, events New Delhi and others note down those name of the events and recall before the examination where was early at Asia 2019 the Asia's largest early childhood conference held it was held in Jaipur Wholesale inflation for January 2019 is recorded at recorded at 2.676 percent the wholesale inflation or wholesale price index on wholesale goods. Francis de Souza has passed away recently. He was a deputy CMO of Dash. He was a deputy CM of Goa State. Which of the following has re released the World Employment and Social Outlook Trends 2019 report? So it is by ILO is the right answer. World Employment and Social Outlook. It is headquartered in Geneva of Switzerland. The National Labour Organization. Dash is set to launch a SpearX mission to investigate the universe. Yes, it is by NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, which is headquartered in Washington, D.C. Next. Dash million dollar loan agreement was signed between India and Himachal Pradesh government and World Bank for Shimla water supply project. Yes, how much million loan agreement was signed? 40 million dollar loan agreement was signed for by India and Himachal Pradesh and World Bank for Himachal water supply. Dash has been selected for the India's best company award for 2018 by the US based brand consulting and market research firm Berkshire Media Private Limited. Best India's best company award for 2018. It is SEC Singarani Colleries Limited. It is a coal uh, ex mining company based in Telangana. In international trade, what does MFN stands for? Recently, India has withdrawn MFN status for Pakistan, right? But Pakistan never has given uh, MFN status for India. What is this MFN status? Yeah. You have to treat everyone equal when you give MFN. Okay, instead of giving any uh, charging any tariffs, you have to treat everyone equal. Those countries whom you give MFN, it is most favored nation. 
Recently, New Delhi hosted the third Indo-German Environment Forum. What is the theme of the forum? Indo-German Environment Forum, it is Cleaner Air and Greener Economy. It was held in New Delhi. Which state government has passed the bill provide 5% quota in jobs and education institutions to Gujars and 4 other communities? So where are Gujars? They are in the state of Rajasthan. So 5% reservation. And Maharashtra has given around 16% for Marathas, right? Which state government has announced universal old age pension scheme called Mukhya Mantri Vridhajan Pension Yojana? Yes, it is by the state of Bihar, Nitish Kumar government. Next. Which state government has merged Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi with its own Anadata Suki Baba scheme? So, Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi, 6,000 per year will be given in three equal installments to farmers who are having up to 2 hectares. 2 hectares means 2.5 acres. Okay. This scheme was active retrospectively retrospective means from back date from 1st december 2018 onwards so it is by the state of andhra pradesh it has merged with anadata suki scheme india's first aqua mega food park was commissioned in which state aqua mega food park it was commissioned in andhra pradesh west godavari district State-owned NDPC has signed a term loan agreement of DASH with SBI to finance the capital expenditure of NDPC. So how much loan agreement was signed by NDPC with SBI? It is 5000 crores. That's why it is none of these. Okay. Just a minute. Sorry. It is 5 acres. Okay. 2 hectares is 5 acres. Thank you. Who has been appointed as a new el election commissioner of India? Okay. It is chief election commissioner and there are two election commissioners. Chief election commissioner is Sunil Arora and one more person has joined. Who is that? Shushil Chandra. I was earlier the chairman of CBIC, Central Board of in Indirect Taxes and Customs. Okay. Another one is Ashok Lavasa. Name the person who was uh, appointed as the CMD of Air India for the second time. It is Ashwani Lohani. International Darwin Day is celebrated in every year on which date? International Darwin Day, Darwin is very famous uh, biologist from UK. February 12th is observed as his birthday is observed as International Darwin Day. His very famous book is Origin of Species. How species has taken origin explains in it. This year World Radio Day is celebrated with the theme Dialogue, Tolerance and Peace on which date? World Radio Day. So it is observed on Feb 13th. Okay, next. 
Legendary goalkeeper Gordon Banks has passed away at the age of 81. He belongs to which country? Mahavir says Darwin is in Australia. Darwin was born in England and died in England itself. Okay. He has used Australia for his origin of spaces. Okay. Gordon Banks belongs to England. Next. Which team has defeated Chandigarh to win the ninth hockey Indian Senior Women National Championships 2019? Yes, it is Sports Authority of India has defeated Chandigarh to win the ninth Hockey India Senior Women National Championship. Recently, a new species of crying snake has been discovered in which state? It's called as crying keelback. It was discovered in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. Crying snake. Recently, India signed a letter of intent with which country to fight marine pollution? It is with this country of Norway. Who has won the Entrepreneur of the Year Award for 2018? It is by Siddhartha Lal of Aichar Motors. Royal Enfield is of IHO Motors only. Who was, who was presented with Innovation Award by the Global New Car Assessment Program GNCAP? given to Nitin Gadkari okay Piyush Royal was given Carnot Prize right a two-day startup walk was, was held in which city it was held in Chennai startup walk was held in Chennai which of the following private sector bank has launched fifth edition of Evolve for small and micro enterprise custom customers So it is Axis Bank Evolve for SME customers. The center has announced Dash as the mascot for 13th the UN Con Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species CMS. COP stands for Conference of Parties. The 13th meeting will be held in India. And Great Indian Bustard is the mascot for. CMS COP 13. Joint humanitarian assistance and disaster relief exercise called Exercise Rahat is recently concluded in which city? So it was concluded in Jaipur, is the right answer. What is the retail inflation for the month of January in 2019? Wholesale inflation was 2.76. And reader inflation CPI, how much was it? 2.05%. Generally, RBA targets should be less than or equal to 4%. Which state government has launched the Sarthi Sandesh Vahini vehicles to spread awareness regarding family planning in urban and rural areas? It is by the state of Uttar Pradesh. Which state has decided to rename the Dikki Bandi Stadium after former Lok Sabha speaker P.A. Sangma or Purna A. Sangma? So it is by the state of Meghalaya. 
Name the person who was appointed as the ambassador of India to Bhutan recently. It is Ruchira Kamboj was appointed as the new Indian envoy to Bhutan. The seventh session of World Government Summit was held in Bit City. World Government Summit was held in Dubai, the city in UAE. Recently, which bank has launched two-way cryptocurrency ATM? It is Union Bank of Philippines. Recently, James Chadwick has become the first female driver to win MRF Challenge title which was held in was held in Chennai. MRF Tires is actually headquartered in Chennai itself. Which team has clinched the 9th Senior National Hockey Men's Championship held in Gwalior? Women's team was won by Sports Authority of India and men's it is Railway Sports Promotion Board. Recently, Corentin Mautert has clinched the Chennai Open ATP Challenger title. He hails from hails from France. PM Modi has visited Vrindavan to unveil a ceremonial plaque marking the third billionth meal by Akshay Patra Foundation. Vrindavan is a city in Dash. The city in Uttar Pradesh belonging to Lord Krishna. Who is the head of CBDT panel to help bring down tax litigation? Who is the chairman of CBDT? Pramod Chandra Modi, right? So, Sanjeev Sharma was appointed to head this panel to bring down tax litigation. Which Indian personality is a WHO goodwill ambassador for hepatitis in Southeast Asia region? WHO is headquartered in Geneva, World Health Organization. So it is Amitabh Bachchan was appointed as the WHO goodwill ambassador. Who has become the brand ambassador of Swast Immunized India campaign? It is Karina Kapoor was appointed as the brand ambassador for this campaign. Which country has conducted naval military exercise called Velayat 97 from Persian Gulf to Indian Ocean? So it is by Iran. Okay. Iran's capital is Tehran. What is the new interest rate on employee provident fund for 2018-19 recommended by EPFO? How much is the interest rate on EPF? So how much is it presently? 8.65% it was increased from 8.55 to 8.65. Who was appointed as the first ombudsman for the BCCI Board of Control for Cricket in India by Supreme Court? Ombudsman means who takes up complaints or grievances. That is DK Jain. Who was appointed as Chief Operating Officer of NPCI, National Payments Corporation of India. NPCI has launched Beam UPI, Rupee Card. all these it is the regulator of all ATMs in the country headquartered in New Delhi and CEO of NPCIA is Praveena Rai and who was appointed as chief digital officer of NPCIA is the next question that is Arif Khan Where was Waste to Wonder Park inaugurated by Union Home Minister recently? It was inaugurated. Seven Wonders of World were recreated to the Waste. It was inaugurated in South Delhi. 
Arunachal Pradesh and Mizoram celebrate their statehood day on which of the following dates? Yes, so on February 20th. SpaceX launched Israel's first moon lander named Dash from Florida, US recently. Israel's first moon lander. It is very sheet. Israel's first moon lander. FDI into India fell by how much percentage to 33.49 billion during April to December 2018-19 fiscal. Yes, fell to 7%. Government has signed an MOU with which of the following country university on environment issues. Has signed with Canada. Marine pollution with Norway and environment issues with Canada. Name the country that had become 72nd country to sign the framework agreement of International Solar Alliance. It is Argentina. Its capital is Buenos Aires and Argentinian peso is the currency. World Thinking Day is observed on. It's observed on 22nd Feb. International Mother Language Day is observed on. It's observed on 21st Feb. 22nd Feb is Thinking Day. 21st is International Mother Language Day. What is the theme of International Mother Language Day observed on 21st Feb? What is Indigenous languages matter for development, peace building and reconciliation. We have to protect our mother language, right? Which country has recently announced to invest 100 billion US dollars in India? Yes, it is. Saudi Arabia Prince has visited recently, right? So it wants to invest. 100 billion. What is the capital of Saudi Arabia? Riyadh. And currency is Rial. So you can easily remember Rial. Okay. Where was the 8th World Corporate Social Responsibility Congress held? World Corporate Social Responsibility Congress was held in Mumbai. Which city is a host for the 4th India ASEAN Expo Summit 2019? I've already told you about ASEAN, the headquartered in Jakarta. It is a grouping of 10 nations. India is not a member of ASEAN. And in New Delhi, it was held in New Delhi. Which state government has decided to host the 79th session of India History Congress? It is in Bhopal of Madhya Pradesh, 79th session of Indian History Congress held. Vijaya Bank, Dena Bank merger with Bank of Baroda to be effective from? Yes, to be effective from 1st April 2019. It will be the third largest bank after SBI and ICICI. Where did PM Modi inaugurate world's first diesel to electric converted locomotive? Within 10 more minutes, we will complete. We are going to see 200, around 250 questions. So it was inaugurated in Varanasi, world's first diesel to electric converted locomotive. Nambar Singh, who passed away recently, was the renowned writer of which language? He is from Hindi writer, he is Hindi language, belongs to Hindi language. RBI has decided to transfer how much as interim dividend to the government of India for the financial year 1819. 28,000 crores, earlier 40,000 to total 68,000 for 1819. 
Ministry of Commerce and Industry has decided to recognize the entity as startup for how many years from earlier seven years. Earlier it was seven years to be recognized as a startup under the Income Tax Act 1961. Now it is 10 years on the date of incorporation. Rajnath Singh has launched Dash as Pan India Helpline number for ensuring women's safety under the emergency response, emergency response support system. It is 112, Pan India Helpline number 112. Okay, around 16 states it is applicable and also union territories. The 2019 theme for World Day of Social Justice is if you want peace and development, work for social justice. It is observed on Dash. It is observed on Feb. Feb 20th is World Day of Social Justice. Feb 21st is International Mother Language Day. Feb 22nd is World Thinking Day. We have already seen so. Sushma Swaraj has accepted Dash Top Civic Award Grand Cause of Order of Civil Merit during her visit to the same. It is Spain's Top Civic Award. Spain's capital is Madrid and Euro is the currency. Suresh Prabhu has launched Swayat, which is an initiative to promote startups, women and youth advantage through e-transactions on Dash. Swayat, startups, women and youth advantage through e-transactions on government e-marketplace. So that the sellers can sell their products and government departments will buy those products. Boosting MSMEs is the main goal. Nikat Zarin and Meena De Kumari Devi have won gold medals at Stranja Memorial Boxing held in Dash. It is in Sofia of Bulgaria, who was appointed as the first woman president of Astronomical Society of India. It is GC Anupama was appointed as the first woman president of Astronomical Society of India, who was appointed as the Kolkata Police Chief replacing Rajiv Kumar recently. It is Anush Sharma was appointed. Name the new micro insurance plan that will provide coverage up to 2 lakhs by LIC of India. It is micro budget plan by LIC. Name the drainage cleaning robe introduced in Chennai, Tamil Nadu recently. It is Bandikut. Who has been conferred with the first ever football Ratna by Football Delhi? That is given to our football team captain Sunil Chatri. Recently has got Padma Shri Award. And where was India's first full dome 3D digital theatre inaugurated? It was inaugurated in Kolkata. With addition of two new districts in Telangana on 17th Feb, the total districts count went up to went up to earlier it was 31, now it is 33 with addition of two districts in Telangana. RBI is in board meeting, it wants to transfer how much dividend? 28,000 crores, we have already seen it. Where did HDFC bank open its 5000th branch in India which also marks on the same day of opening of its first branch in 1995. So 5000th branch it was opened in Andheri of Mumbai. Rajkumar Singhajit Singh was awarded with Tagore award for cultural harmony for the year 2014. He was a dash dancer. He was a Manipuri dancer. So he got the award, Tagore Award for Cultural Harmony for 2014. And for 15, it was given to an organization called Chayanout, which was established at Dash for promoting Tagore's work in Bengali culture. It was established 
lived in Bangladesh. Next, for 16, it was given to sculpture Ram Banji Sutar. I think already it is mentioned sculpture. So for 14, 15, 16, the Tagore Awards, you have to note down somewhere and recall before the examination. Which of the following municipal corporations has won the first prize at the Swachata Excellence Award 2019? It was given to Rai Ghar of Chhattisgarh. Okay. Who has won the Laureus World Sportsman of the Year Award 2018? It was given to Novak Djokovic. He is from Serbia. Right. Laura's World Sportswoman of the Year Award was given to Simon Biles. She is a gymnast, famous gymnast from USA. Where was the conference on Vision Zero and its relevance to occupational safety and health held? It was held in Mumbai regarding occupational safety. Who has become the Indian Air Force first woman flight engineer? So it is Hina Jaiswal. Who has won the men's singles event at the 83rd and the Senior National Badminton Championships 2019? It was given to, it was taken by Saurabh Verma. And who has won the women's singles? It is by Saina Nehwal defeating P.V. Sindhu. Saina Nehwal has taken the women's singles. Which team has won the Irani Cup title 2019? It was won by Vidarbha along with Ranji Trophy also, right? So they may ask you Irani Cup is related to cricket. Name the app launched by Infosys to facilitate engineering students with the best learning experiences. It is InfiTQ. Which name the country whose custom duty on all its imported products are hiked to 200% by India recently. I think most of you know this. Pakistan. Recently India has also withdrawn MFN status, most favored nation status. Who is the head of expert committee on determining the methodology for fixing of the national minimum wage that submitted its report recently and it has proposed 9750 rupees per month to be given as national minimum wage to the workers. So it is Anup Satpati committee on national minimum wage very important. RBI has withdrew how much percent limit on investment by foreign portfolio investors in corporate bonds to encourage more foreign investments? 20% total limit is withdrawn on corporate bonds. IF has conducted day night exercise named Vayu Shakti in Dash. In Rajasthan, it was conducted by Indian Air Force. India's Dash program was announced as Laurie Sport for Good Award winner. It was India's Yuva program to encourage youth into sports has got this Good Award winner. Which international cricketer has announced his retirement for ODIs after World Cup 2019? It is by Chris Gale. His autobiography is called as Six Machine. Okay, of Chris Gale from West Indies. During the visit to UP, PM Modi inaugurated Pahari Dam modernization project. The dam is located on Dash. It is located on Dahsan River. Which bank had become the first US bank with cryptocurrency? It is JP Morgan Chase, which is headquartered in New York. Which state assembly has ba recently passed a bill to make Sanskrit the second official language of the state? That is by the state of Himachal Pradesh to make Sanskrit as the second official language. When does India celebrate National Science Day? 
very important question on which the Raman effect has got the Nobel Prize in 1930 by Sir C.V. Raman first Nobel Prize was for India was given to Rabindranath Tagore in 1913 one three absorbed on 28th Feb National Science Day what is the theme of 2019 National Science Day absorbed on 28th Feb science for the people and people for the science very easy to remember so CV Raman has received Nobel Prize for his Raman effect just now I've told you 1930. 1913 is Rabindranath Tagore or is Geetanjali the first Nobel for India by Rabindranath Tagore. This is the second Nobel for India. IDB Bank has da appointed Dash Hemans Pargava as non-executive chairman because IDB Bank was acquired 51% 50 stake in IDBA, right? By LIC. So LIC's chairman Hemant Bhargava was appointed as non-executive chairman of IDBA. Name the new railway zone elected to Andhra Pradesh. It is South Coast Railway, which is headquartered at Vishakapatnam. So with the addition of the new railway zones, total railway zones in India go to 18 along with the Konkan Railway. So it has headquarters at Vishakapatnam. I've already told you. Which state government has launched Pranam Commission to protect parents of government employees? Parents Responsibility and Accountability Norms Management Commission launched by ASA for government employees only they have to see their parents and disabled uh, siblings aviation conclave 2019 was held in was held in new delhi aero india was held in bangalore aviation conclave 2019 was held in new delhi 16th edition of bioasia 2019 was conducted in It was conducted in Hyderabad. It's mostly it is conducted in Hyderabad only. It was appointed as a new chairman of National Book Trust. It is Govind Prasad Sharma. Where was second meeting of Trump and Kim Jong-un of North Korea held? First one was held in July 2018 at Singapore. And second in Feb 2019 at Vietnam also called as nuclear summit at Hanoi of Vietnam what is India's rank out of 100 nations in Facebook's inclusive internet index which was stopped by Sweden so Sweden has taken the first place and India has taken the 47th place out of 100 in Facebook's inclusive internet index which of the following were removed under PCA all of the below Allahabad Bank, Corporation Bank, Dhan Lakshmi Bank. Who has been elected as a new president of Nigeria? It is Mahmudu Buhari, its capital is Abuja, and currency is Naira. Which organization has been chosen for the Gandhi Peace Prize 2018? It is it was given to Yohei Sasakawa for uh, treating leprosy patients he is from uh, Japan okay for 2018 and for 2017 it was given to Ekal Abhyan Trust of Kolkata and for 16 it was given to Akshay Patra Foundation and for 15 it was given to Vivekananda Kendra Kanyakumari so four years it was given clear so for 17 it was given to Ekal Abhyan Trust and for 16 it was given to 
Akshay Bandra Foundation and Sulab International and for 15 it was given to so note down somewhere and recall it Gandhi Peace Prize Delhi government has presented dash crore budget for 1920 it is 60,000 crore budget was announced by Delhi government where did PM Modi you know, uh, unveil Bhagavad Gita running into 670 pages and weighing 800 kgs at the Iskon temple in New Delhi? Titanwala Museum is in news. It was located in which of the following states? It is located in Baguru. Baguru block painting is very famous in Rajasthan. So this museum will depict this block painting. Fourth digital global digital health partnership summit was held in was held in New Delhi which of the following has become the first Indian to score 8000 runs in T20s it is Suresh Raina who which country has scored highest ever T20 international score it is by Afghanistan versus Ireland on 20th Feb in Dehradun this has happened the highest score is 278 for 3. This is the highest score in T20 internationals. Which who acquired first position in the national level competition at the National Youth Parliament Festival? It is Shweta Umre. First, second, third. These are the first three people in this event. Where did PM Modi inaugurate National War Memorial? National Police Memorial is also at New Delhi. Both of them are at New Delhi. World Bank UN Women CIDB has signed social impact bonds exclusively for women called Women Livelihood Bonds with an initial corpus of rupees 300 crores. UN Women is headquartered in New, New York. Dash which was made in India has won the best documentary short subject award at the 91st Academy Awards at his Oscars 2019. It is period end of sentence right and which has won the best picture award it is the green book and which has won the who has won the best actor award it is Rami Malek for Bohemian Rhapsody and who has won the best actress award it is Olivia Colman, the favorite. These are very important. And from India, it is period end of sentence. Okay, best picture is Green Book. Best actor Rami Malek, best actress Olivia Colman. Central Excise Day is observed annually on 24th Feb. Which of the following states has become the India's first state to raise a special dog squad to detect liquor consignment? It is by the state of Bihar. Which Indian Grandmaster has lifted the 2019 Keynes International Open Trophy? It is Abhijit Gupta. Which Indian politician has authored the book India in Distress? It is by Mamata Banerjee, CM of West Bengal. Who has been elected as the new president of Wrestling Federation of India? It is for the third time he was as a new president bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh where was Cobra gold 2019 world's largest multinational military exercise held was held in Thailand Justice Umar Nath Singh was appointed as the first Lokayutta of Nagaland PM Kisan scheme was been, has been launched in which of the following districts of Uttar Pradesh in Gorakhpur of Uttar Pradesh. Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi who has been honored with AHF's Player of the Year Award 2018. It is our hockey captain Manpreet Singh. And India's first medal in International Shooting Sport Federation World Cup which was held in New Delhi was won by Apurvi Chandela okay, and she has also set a new world record with 252.9 points in the final and which of the following currency is traded by Zimbabwe recently it is RTGS dollar very important question by Zimbabwe 
and the last question of the day which of the following has become the 73rd country to join ISA 72nd is Argentina 73rd is Saudi Arabia ISA's headquarters is in Gurugram of Haryana so hope you have enjoyed the session yes So thank you so much for joining. So keep practicing. Practice is the only key for competitive examinations. Stay tuned for uh, more uh, sessions on talent sprint. We have also come up with the SSC general awareness MCQs. It will be held on every Thursday at 6 p.m. Okay. So I'll meet you next time. Super fast, nice session. Okay. Thank you. I'll meet you next time. Take very good care of yourself. Hope you will uh, succeed in your goals as soon as possible in this year itself. Bye.